day, y'all bass bees. So today, I'm gonna talk to y'all about some queen rearing stuff. For uh, you new bees that wanna try it, don't really know nothing about it yet. There's not much information. The people you see, they're doing 45 grafts at a time. They got all this stuff and everybody's just supposed to know it somehow. So I'm gonna at least show you and explain what they are. Maybe it'll help you a little bit. So, this is a roller cage. This is what I end up putting in my incubator or a queen bank and sell system. Okay. So. Bear with me. Okay. So I use an ICOT system. I don't use the whole system. I just use the fixtures in the cell cup holder and the cups. So what these are called, this is little brown fixture. That's what they're called. I think it's order number 126 or 121. QC 121, I think, or 126. Okay, so what I do on my graph frame, I hot glue these across. This snaps onto the base. This is the cell cup holder. So it's going to snap on there like that. It's going to, your brown uh, fixture is going to be mounted. Your cell cup holder, one snap. It's movable. So then you got your little cell cup. This is what you're going to graft the larva into. This is your artificial queen cup. It goes in here. So then it looks like this on your graph bar. They'll draw a queen cell out off of this. And then you can snap it into your roller cage. And when she hatches out, she's caged. Also, you can buy caps for the roller. And it snaps in just like the cell fixture does. Snaps right in there. When she comes out the bottom, she's in a cage. And the reason I have some of these around is you can put a natural cell down in there, put the cap on, and then put it in a roller cage. That way your queen's contained. And when she hatches, I lay her over sideways in my incubator. And this lid. See if I can get one to move. You may see her. She's getting, a, she's eating honey. Um, do this old one. Okay, this one's kind of old and yucky. But you see the dark spots, old leftover honey. You don't want honey in the middle to get all sticky. You only want to fill up like one gallery. When she hatches, she'll come down and eat. As soon as she hatches and eats, you lay it over sideways. Then you can put a drop of water on there. You can keep her in an incubator for days. They get their fur, virgins get their pheromones on day five, so you need to get them in a hive by day five. And they won't last forever in an incubator. You're better off building a little banking frame like this and putting it in a hive so that the bees can feed your queens through that cage. They get the enzymes and everything they need, they'll be better. And they'll live longer. But you don't want to bank your queens over four or five days. You bank them too long, they won't ever fly out and mate. Okay, so the reason I use Nicot, you can buy Jay-Z BZ graph frames. And they have holes in them. And this Jay-Z BZ queen cup snaps into it. But... When you go to put them in the hair roller cage, they don't fit very good. They'll work, but you need to put a piece of tape over them. It's not for right now. I mean, if there was a queen cell on that, she'd hatch into the cage. But when you go to lay her over, because they, they feed better horizontally, I think. And the bees can feed them better horizontally. I just like the Nikot system. It's just contained better. Okay, these little brown cups, they don't fit in these cell cup holders very good at all. They always want to fall out. So what you do, take your piece of wax or propolis. I usually take a chunk of propolis, heat it up, and I just smear it 
go through there, bam, a cup, bam, a cup, bam, a cup. On the bottom and on the side. You can see I just wax this one. It don't take much. Just enough to make it sticky and stay in there. Now it won't fall off. So if you buy from Amazon or eBay the little brown cups, they don't fit very good. And this will hold them in. You can take the little cheap cups and put them in the Nikot holders. They'll, they'll stay in if you'll do that. Okay, this little thing. All I did was mount a brown cell fix cup fixtures to it. You can snap it in one after another. Get out of here, B. If you only got a couple, I like mine closer to the top. So this is a way you can bake queens in a hive. You don't have to have a frame like this. You could just set them on top of an excluder. On a queen right colony. Um, I usually put honey in here. Just in case the bees don't like that queen and don't want to feed it. Because I don't keep mine banked. Just uh, maybe a day or two and I want them out of there. This is only to buy me time. You don't want to drop your queens like that. Their wings are soft. Their abdomens are soft. Thoraxes are probably soft. Dang it. Alright, I can't do it in the video. So. That's the way you can do it. Oh, that's why. John, jeez. Bear with me. Still recording? Okay. So now... I can set this frame in a colony, they can feed my queens, and I can uh, be stress free for a day or two at least. Now, try to hurry, I don't know how well I'll be able to record this, I don't have nothing set up. But, so this is your grafting tool. Here's the tongue, this is the plunger, I use the bamboo, the plastic ones suck. The tongues fall out, the plungers fall out, they're garbage. It's hard to find these bamboo ones, if you got a hundred of them let me know, I'd buy some. Okay, so, let's try to get in here and not get stung, huh? Get some smoke. Food frame, cat brood, looks like our little queen's laying. We got larvae in there. No, she hasn't laid back yet. Queen cell, that's why. Start getting too many colonies, man. You better uh, write on your lid with duct tape. Or you'll start thinking they're queen right and they're not. <laughs> well, I was going to show you how to graft. But, that thing's got queen colonies in it. I shouldn't have smoked. I wouldn't have smoked it if I knew that. And, you never want to drop your bees. Not good. So, I'll just uh, do this pretend, I reckon. So, when you graft, take your finger, straighten your tongue. Okay. So, you come straight down the cell. This little tongue will bend 
with the contour of the cell. Then it slides under the royal jelly and larva. Once you're under it, you pick up as you come back so you, when you come up, you don't hang it on the wall. Now, if you try more than once to get your little larva, forget it. They won't accept it. Move on. If you hang it on the side wall coming up, don't grab it again. They won't accept it. They're real finicky. If you don't get the first try or the second try, just move on. And all you got to do to graft is just try it. I mean, if you break out the cell wall, and you can break out the side wall on purpose to give you more room until you get better at it. If you mess up 20 cells, it's no big deal. The bees will fix it. If you um, kill or break 20 little larvae trying to graft, it's no big deal. They'll fix it. If you graft and they don't accept none of them, it's no big deal. Just try it again. Next time you might get 15 accepted or three or four. It's like anything else. All you got to do is try it. It's not that hard. It's a little finicky, but it's really not that hard. All you got to remember is your queen starts in the middle. She spirals out. So on the outside is where you're going to find your eggs. Next to your eggs are going to be the larva you want. They're going to be the youngest. You don't want the big C shape. You don't want none that's almost touching. You don't even want the ones that are stretched out like this and fat. You want the littlest, tiniest ones on the frame. They'll be the ones next to the egg. So then you graft into your cup. You got your bar out. Graft them all. Keep a towel over them as you go. Wet towel. If you graft one, lay your towel over it. You'll have another one right here. So you graft the larva in it. You cover it with your towel. On down the line. When you get them all done, you snap that into your frame. You turn it over. You set it in there. You'll have a spot for your graft frame. You'll have pollen beside it. And you can put brood here. Or you can put... Uh, Nectar is what I do. Um, I don't have any open larvae in my cell builders. The only thing, I want them to be hopelessly queenless. No way to draw a cell. I don't want them feeding other cells and then a virgin hatch out and tear down all my cells. Or I don't want them feeding a the cell when I want them feeding my grafts. I want them spending all their energy on feeding my grafts. So anyway... I just thought I'd show you all this stuff, so maybe you have an idea for when you want to try it. What this stuff is called. Y'all can refer back to this video. Y'all have a good day. Fixing check the cell builder. See y'all.